fashion trend that you think isn't necessary? A fashion bull nose horn, the bull bull ring, the piercing. Yes, the deviated septum. That is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> been a while since we've done this Jalen I've been doing it I've been doing this with multiple different people what we're doing is it's just like questions except I'm I don't have any questions ready for you this is raw and unedited I didn't prepare for it all you're doing is asking me a bunch of random questions and I have to give you my 100% honest answer I gotta be 1,000 Okay. What is your biggest pet peeve? <laughs> What's my biggest pet peeve? Yes. Hygiene. Mm -hmm. Like, one of my biggest pet peeves is when somebody too close to me and they smell terrible. Especially mm -hmm. if somebody I'm considering that. Would that girl smell back? You're probably not going to hear from me again. Then, no, I'll never come back. That's it? Oh, you want to know more of them? Yes. When people mess with me, if I haven't eaten all day and you mess with me while I'm eating my food, you'll see me turn into a different person. Your least favorite dish? Mashed potatoes. Why? The texture makes me yaw. A fashion trend that you think isn't necessary? A fashion bull nose horn. The bull, bull ring. The piercing? Yes, the deviated septum. That is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Whenever I see a girl walk in my direction and she got that bull ring on her nose, I'm like, yeah. I've only seen one girl make that work, but out of that one girl, all, it's ugly on all of them. Don't ever get no bull ring, Caitlin. Actually, Grandpa will crucify you if you did. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if you had to, like, just move, where would be, like, your ideal place? Florida. Ew, why? I love Florida. Down the road, when I have two houses, I'm gonna have one here, and I'm gonna have one in Florida. Florida, Josh? Yeah. You only been to one section of Florida. Your Florida's pretty big. Mm, yeah. It's pretty nice in some places. Some places. It's not as ghetto as the internet makes some of it seem. What is, other than like the weather in South Carolina, what is another thing you don't like? About South Carolina? Yeah. How many people are moving here? Getting a thousand people every month. The traffic in Greenville is starting to get on my nerves. Like Atlanta. One of your funniest memories growing up? With a specific person or just, just like any of them? In general, just any of them. One of my funniest memories was when a friend of mine was over my house and he was he wouldn't stop farting <laughs> he wouldn't stop farting and the last fart had trouble coming out so he, he pushed he was pushing the fart out and he pooped all over himself <laughs> oh my goodness let me tell you something i have never <laughs> In my entire life, I have never laughed so hard. I've never laughed so hard for so long in my entire life. Um, your like your least favorite brand of shoes. My least favorite brand. Yeah. I don't pay attention to brands. Really? If it looks nice, I wear it. The worst gift you have ever gotten. Socks. Really? You don't like it? I like getting socks, but if it's just plain tubes, one pair of, of white socks with nothing on them, I mean, that's almost like it feels Christmas time. You were expecting a good gift from me, <laughs> and I brought you the biggest, the biggest box, a huge present compared to every other gift in the room. You're excited, like, dang, that's a big present. It's bigger than all my other presents. Then. You, you're moving all the styrofoam, there's a lot of paper in there, you're moving it, moving it, you get all the paper out, and all you see is one pair of small white socks. How would that make you feel? Well, it's the purpose of playing game with <laughs> And I'd be like, I just wanted to be extra. 
<laughs> like out of all the sports you played in high school, which one was like your favorite? Because you did like track and like football. Wow, track. I had so much fun in those track meets. I met my first love in track meet. A girl, the first girl actually said that, hey, you know, I could actually say the L word. I don't throw the L word around like nothing. Everybody be throwing that L, like, love around like nothing. But that, it means a lot more to me. I used to get in trouble because, you know, in the past, my dating history, I would receive anger because I wouldn't say it back. I was like, I ain't gonna say it if I don't mean it. Right. What was your longest relationship? Four years. Four years, Josh. Good. You didn't meet her? No. No. No, that wasn't a question. Like, I, I know you didn't meet her. Yeah. I think you only ever met one girl. <clears throat> Wait, no, you met two of them. That's right. You saw Kayla, that's right. Three. There was that, um, DD. Oh, Deirdre. Yeah, I didn't know you met her. Yes. No, that's right. I irritated the life out of you when I met her. No, you irritated the life out of me when you met Brandy. Both of them, because... Because you wouldn't you would leave me alone. I never left you alone. Because that one girl went to like the fair with us or something. No, oh, Deirdre. And I sat in between y'all. I remember that. Oh, I don't she remember that. She came to the house. I remember you doing that with Brandy. You was like... Following her all over the place, following us all over the place. I was like, what is wrong with Jayla? I was like, why is she doing this? She doing this on purpose? I don't think so. Hmm. Or are you just excited to meet a girl I'm dating or something like that? Or I guess she's like older. Um, maybe. What's the funniest memory you have of Grandpa? What will, what will be like your dream house? I'm still constructing it up here. But I know it's gonna be half stone. Like the time you got in trouble at school. When the teacher saw me with my phone and I wouldn't give it to her. She got so mad for no reason. Like when she was like, you can either give me your phone or you can take three days of suspension. I said, you're not getting my phone. Her face turned bright red and she was screamed at the top of her lungs. Now take your ass on down to Oshag Hennessy's office right now and tell him exactly what you did. One of my pet peeves is when somebody yells at me. Mm -hmm. I used to tell myself all the time, boy, when I graduate high school and I'm a grown man, the last thing anybody's gonna do is raise their voice in my direction. I was like, I gotta put up with this for now, but don't don't catch me. <laughs> I was like, you catch me outside of school, you better not <laughs> yell at me. I was happy about those three days. I made a break. Happy? Yeah, I was happy. Did that Jackie find out? Yeah, I told mama. What'd you do? Nothing. What did Uncle E do? Nothing. Really? I had my phone in my pocket. Looked at the time. Give me your phone. Well, you gonna whoop me because <laughs> she spotted my phone. True. And I wouldn't give it to her. What? Like, Besides, I'm in high school. You can't. That's true. You can drive. That makes sense. Cause like, were you driving yourself to school? I think by that time I was. I think I was. I was either a few months away from driving to school, or I was already driving myself to school. What rappers like inspire you to like make music? All of them. I am inspired by every last one of them. What type of music? All of it. I listen to not the slow dragon that killed my dog country, but the more upbeat type of country, rap, hip hop, alternative rock. Really? Yes. I listen to all that. Sometimes I'll even listen to a little bit of classical. Josh. Because I sample it sometimes. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 like, what was your favorite subject when you were in school? History. Yes. Because it was common. It was common sense to me. Right. I fell asleep in that class every day and I still made all A's and B's. Mm -hmm. oh, I was, favorite. 
My least favorite. Math. Really? Yeah. It wasn't hard. I just didn't like it. Everything else was common sense. Science was common sense. Yeah. Everything was common sense. Atoms and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the teachers even put the, they would put the answers in the questions. Like you would be down like, maybe if you miss question three, the answer to question three would be in question 20. Like, mm -hmm. They do stuff like that, and I'd be like, how do y'all not see? <laughs> I'd be talking to my classmates, like, how do y'all not see this? Right. Is they, are they doing this on, I remember I ran into my teacher in Starbucks a few months ago, and I was like, hey, sometimes I'll find the questions and the answers, would you? Did you do that on purpose? He said, oh my God, yes. You were one of the only few people that actually took advantage of that. You know, he was kind of, He's a kind of a blunt person. He was like, some there's some stupid people in that class. Yes. All of my teachers are really blunt. I like the ones that are blunt though. They tell you the truth. Yes. They tell you the truth. Let's see where we at on time. Where we at on time. Oh shoot. Alright, that's it y'all. That's it. My camera's about to overheat. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all y'all get the gist of it. She's gonna help me finish out the next vlog. I'll holler at you peace.